Um, today I want to talk about AMD processors. Um, as you probably know, they're very fragile pins on, on the top of them, or the underneath of them, which way you want to look at it. Um, take great care taking these out of your machine, because if you forgot that you've locked it in and you try and take it out with your uh, heatsink and fan, what's going to happen is, like I've done here, now I would love to show you what happened on camera, but unfortunately I'm struggling to see it with my own eye. The camera won't have a chance basically. Um, you know, I'm 38 years old and I've always believed I could focus on things very close to my eye. But this is another thing altogether. Um, I have struggled to see what I've been doing. So, just to give you an upshot of what's happened, is I've wanted to put some new um, MX4, to, um, MX4 Arctic compound on, um, which is thermal compound or thermal paste. Um, because I thought I put too much on the processor. Um, when I try to take it out, unfortunately, I think I probably bent a few of the pins because they're extremely fragile because I didn't unlock it properly. Now I have, if if you're in this circumstance where you've done the same thing and you think you might have ruined a hundred pound processor, maybe even an Intel one. Get yourself a very sharp knife. Get yourself a very sharp knife and try and bend the actual pins straight. You'll need to do take a lot of time with this um, because if you obviously do it too much, they will snap off. Uh, remember, they are gold plated and they're extremely fragile um, in terms of moving them and you will spend literally at least an hour and fortunately for me um, I've only bent a few of the pins if you're in the circumstance where most of your pins have been bent unfortunately unless you're going to spend a long long time trying to repair it yourself um, you might have to get a new one because it might be beyond repair but I'm going to persevere with this um, check out one of my other videos I'll let you know if I was successful um, in getting this processor to work. Um, and like I said, don't forget to unlock it when you pull it out. Unfortunately, you'll do what I did um, and bend some of the pins. So be absolutely careful, guys. Can't stress this enough. When you put in that thermal paste on these, be more careful than you would be with anything else in your computer because this is an expensive mistake I've made. So, I'll let you know in, the, in a future video how it works. If it pans out, hopefully it will, and we will have a success here. Wish me luck. Bye bye. And I basically damaged the pins, and I carefully straightened them. We're going to see if it works, because the process is in there now, um, and fingers crossed. And hopefully everything works fine. So I'm just going to press the button, the power button on, and we'll see if it works. Fingers crossed. Hooray! Look! It's working! Eh? Oh, can't believe it! Let's just go into Windows. Just see if it uh, boots up. Wow! That just shows, if you're careful when you've uh, damaged your processor with the pins, 
and you align them very carefully with a bit of patience you can repair um, bent pins on your processor but be very careful because they're very fragile and they could break thanks for watching great stuff bye bye